Hello everybody, welcome back to Mega Man Battle Number 2. Now in the last episode we've gotten through some of this dungeon here and learned that one of the gospel nav navvies and operators are hiding out in between with one of us. And the only people left are myself and Chad, so... Oh my gosh, it's Raul. Raul, Raul! <sighs> He's still breathing, he's gonna make it. Lan, I didn't believe it, but you're the gospel net battler. Chad, are you out of your mind? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. But these circumstances are proof enough. Wrong, I just got here too. You're not one of the from gospel, so who got Raul and the others? Nonsense. Anyway, I'm arresting you under official rights. We'll have time to talk about all the it in detail later. First, I'll delete Mega Man, the root of these evils. Protoman, time for a little virus busting. Huh? So, yeah, now we're up against Protoman. Also, he does not fight like he did back in the last game. He does not have a constant shield that you have to worry about, which is extremely nice. But he still is just as fast and just as relentless. Okay, oh, I don't have an attack for this. Okay, let me just add these and dodge. Carefully dodge. Ooh, that was close. Okay, can I get anything? Well, that's not good. Okay, we've got our weapons ready to go. So fire, Aqua, Alec, and roll for good measure. And a fire blade, because yes. Okay, if this misses, we've got a backup. Just let him jump. Okay, fire, Aqua, Alec, full custom in case this fails. Okay, and then we just do the same process. I win. It was only an eight. Jeez. Chad, sorry, I Proto Man. I'm weak. My weakness deleted Proto Man. If I could have just hated you with all my might. Chad. I don't need sympathy from villains. Chad, it's a misunderstanding. Land's right. Neither one of you is from Gospel. She's the real criminal. She was to hurt by Gospel. We've been fooled. But believe me, she went up this way. Erg. Raul! What a farce. Sorry, Lan. He couldn't have said that sooner. Yeah, fooled me too. I distrusted you. Lan, yeah, we gotta go. Stop the Gospel net battle. I'll leave this to you. Without Proto Man, you're our only hope. It's in your hands. Okay. Okay, I know we're you know, like 11 and 12. So I can understand in these circumstances why you would immediately believe that in Erma Gersh. Princess Pride, you were the gospel net battler? Haha, -ha, you got me. I'm a gospel leader. On my boss's orders, I infiltrated your organization. But official net battlers sure aren't any big deal. All easy to fool and then sending you please. What do you mean by that? I expected that kid Chad to come for me. And so I figured I'd have to deal with him. How annoying. So, how do you plan to defeat me? The floor is going to give away like before. I won't fall for that again. I've got a wireless terminal. Haha, <laughs> it wouldn't be any fun otherwise. Nightman's growing impatient, Mega Man, was it? Come then. Mega Man, let's do it. Sure thing. Well, let's hurry up and get in there before we fall to our doom. And fail to save everybody. Okay, I'm gonna head down. See, there should be. Uh, and there's a vampire. Let's see, well, we got the cyber key at least. Yeah, well, I have to take the HP drain. There's nothing I can do about it. Boom. What? That was an eight. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I should have waited. I got it. 
Oh, we got another shadow virus to deal with. Of course we do. Oh, well, he should jump in front of me in a second. Okay, no, we didn't. We're gonna have zombies to deal with next. Well, that's not good since he's right behind me. Or right in front of me, I mean. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, at least I got that off before he used his get it. I thought he was going to use it on that last one, but... At the same time, I wasn't super worried, because even if he did, it wouldn't have made too much of a difference. Where... Are you going to... I'm going to get caught. Dang it! Either way, I'd rather have my Zenny stolen for a little bit, because... Honestly, I don't even know why they went with the bandit, of all things, especially when they just, like, hand you back your money. Like, the bandit's really... It doesn't matter too much if you get caught or not. Like, it's, like, the least detrimental thing to run into, and ah, crap. So I kind of wonder why they even bothered with them. Like, if they had something that would steal something, like, say, more important, then it would make a little bit more sense, but they don't. I want a full energy. I could probably use that before we come across Nightman. Okay, vampires. Good. I know these zombies are going to be coming around for me in a second, too. Which is going to be a bit of a problem, and I don't want to make a combo because that's going to be even more of a problem. Oh, there's stuff down here. Come on. Bug frag. Where are the zombies? Because I know there's two of them around here. Okay, at least we got the key. Okay, he's coming back. He's gonna go that way. I can go this way, and there's another zombie. I don't care about you, full fire. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the HP drain if I want to just dodge a zombie, because I'd rather take less HP rather than get completely reset. Oh, we have a power-up program. I will happily equip that to my attack stat. Castle Comp 5, and of course you would come at me. Now, this is kind of just like a big loop type of area, so... Yeah, I recommend just going down one side and then immediately going down the other, and oh, you're gonna be annoying. I should have saved my invisible, but oh well. Okay, we gotta make it around here quickly before these stupid vampires come at me. Or, you know, just get stuck behind one. That also is something else that is a thing that happens. You know, I'm kind of glad they don't, but at the same time I also do kind of wish that they we're able to move while you're waiting on them. Or not while you're waiting on them, but I mean like when you're in a battle. But at the same time, that would be a bit of a problem because then they'd be right on you, like sometimes like right as you get out of the fight. All right, come on, Mr. Shadow. There goes all my money. Or at least most of it. And a vampire now is chasing me, so that's gonna be even more fun and oh. These are the times that I wish I had bolt roll version three, because um then I'd be able to take this guy out instead of leaving him with 40 HP, but one charge shot will do the trick. 
which is kind of nice, but at the same time, wow. Come on. Let's love 7 HP. Come on. Then I don't even get a battleship, seriously? Come on. That should. Oh, okay, you're right on me. Okay, there's nothing over that way, but I'm gonna get stuck behind this vampire if I'm not careful. Invis 2Q, how does that help me when I already have invisibles? That are going to be so much better. Well, that are better. Oh, I have the combo here. I didn't even see that. Well, both of you are going to die with a lot of overkill. Okay, come on. Really? He cuts me off and then grabs all of my stuff. Okay, can I just run away from this? Please let me just get out of here. Thank you! Oh, that's the wrong way. You know, I don't think I've actually had it happen- Okay, really? This is why I grabbed the extra, you know. This is why I'm glad I got that full energy, because if I didn't have it, this would just be way more annoying than it has to be. Punch. Whatever. Meteor 12J. Isn't that pleasant? Okay. I actually cut that really darn close. Whatever, just grab me. I don't care. Why? I mean, I could have easily taken them out with the sword. Especially since I had an Elect Blade that would have worked wonders, but... Oh, and there's another zombie, because of course there is. This is the one problem of getting stuck and activating so many. I've got, like, no money now. I mean, luckily, and once again, I'm going to say this, is like, having that kind of a thing in this dungeon, I mean, if you forget about it, then it's kind of problem, but at the same time, not really. Because you can always come back and grab it. Oh, and I am actually going to get a full heal because, um... Nightman is not exactly an easy opponent. Hmm. <laughs> you are Nightman? I have no ill will against you, but I'm afraid you must die. It is the sworn duty to protect the prince, as you see. But that doesn't mean you should do evil things. Nightman, have you forgotten what the boss said? Destroying the net battlers for the good of Creepland. I'm sure no good can come from what you're doing. Yeah, you really think this is gonna make folks happy? Princess? What are you waiting for, Nightman? Just do as I say and you'll be fine. Do as you say, yes. This sounds right and just. You feel some doubt in your heart, don't you? Mega Man, doubting the princess is not in my programming. Even if she is wrong, I must protect her. It is my way. Now, one guard. So, Nightman is... I'm actually going to save that attack for 20. Nightman is kind of annoying. You can't hit him while he's in that state. He basically has a guard called Stone Body. So, okay, of course. Of course I get the combo when I can't even use it. So basically what this guard essentially does for him is make him completely immune to attacks. Okay, come on. Did you jump forward? Because I've got like a combo that was gonna destroy you in a second. Especially if you jump. Now, Nightman does have a good chunk of attack. Now, he can fire his cannon upward into the... Well, off the screen. So basically they hit a roof to have rocks drop on your head. He can't... Ah, uh, let me grab a bowl. He can also shoot it forward like you've seen, which is his knight, which is just that a move. He can also jump forward and crack a bunch of panels, which can leave you pretty damaged. And if you're right next to him in any spot, he can spin his knight ball crusher thing 
around in a circle to try and hit you, and I've got like every sword. Just jump forward, man! So, yeah. He also has a couple of, um, panel grabs, and finally... Oh, you crack everything in this game. Ignore that I said that. He's definitely not going to be appearing later. Maybe. Either way, I win. No way! Nightman lost? Lynn, I'll turn off the trap switch. Yeah, go for it! Okay. Yes, this should take care of it. Nice try. But even without Nightman, I can man manipulate the traps. Ha ha ha! Everyone will perish! Lynn, be careful! Let's get out of here! Yeah! Ah! Princess! Thanks to you, we could save the organization. You have my eternal gratitude. What about Rule? Is he alright? He's in the hospital by now. Good thing the discovery was quick. We're rescuing the others now. They're wounded, but safe. And the princess, did she... die? We've rescued her too. Her wounds are healing. But she'll be questioned as soon as she's better. I don't think you'll be seeing her for a while. I heard a story once. Creamland was the, one of the first countries to get on the net. That's how the tiny country got so powerful so fast. But soon after the big countries caught up to Creamland, Creamland was just in their way and got left behind. The princess might have joined Goth Gospel to get revenge. Wow, I didn't know about all that. I still don't think she was right to do what she did, though. What I do know is that the real enemy is Gospel. Right. With Mega Man and Proto Man together, we have a chance. Ah, sorry about Proto Man, I... You forget so easily, my friend. You and I are different. All of Proto Man's programming is safe in my head. Really? So then Proto Man isn't... I don't know why you that should make you happy. It should be clear that I do not plan to team up with you. The next time I meet, I, Proto Man... I, Proto Man? Will defeat Mega Man? You're not... But, no, you're net net... Ugh. English. Later. That's my line. Man, that child guy burns me up. But those gospel guys are even worse. Let's go get them. Yeah, I'm ready when you are, Lamb. Let's do it. Woo! Home to Electopia. So much occurred and the time truly flew. Next time we should go on vacation with the whole family. You said it. A more relaxed visit would have been nice. Lan, we cool on the takeoff time? I'm pretty sure the plane leaves at 9.30 a.m. It's after 8 now. Perfect timing. Shall we head for the airport? Why not? Now, there is one last thing that we can do before we head back to Electopia. The other day I put 10 chips in the funky contraption, then this ultra-rare wood or asterisk chip came out. About blew my mind. So if we talk to this guy here, hey boy, won't you buy an Etopian souvenir? Sure. First I got this. Brooch. It's said an Etopian princess once wore it. Normally I'd charge a hundred thousand zennies, but you, special customer, I'll give it to you for a thousand. You buy? Sure. You buy brooch, Monsieur... Biaoko? I don't know how to pronounce that. I have more souvenirs, so come again. We get the brooch. The popular Robo-X. This is a very popular and very rare. I give you a special price of one thousand zenny. You buy? Haha! -ha. You buy Robo-X, you generous, very generous boy. But I only have one more souvenir. Come again. The final souvenir for today is this gold ring. Perfect as a gift for that special girl, yes? I give it to you at the bargain price of a thousand zenny. You buy? Sure. Now, all I now I all sold out. Merci, merci. And we get the gold ring. Now, one thing I will say is if you're worried about not being able to come back to Natopia to battle against Snake Man and Thunder Man, don't worry. They're not going to cut you off just that easily. And also, I thought there was someone hiding over here. And one more thing, just before we head to the airport. If you head back into here, you can actually come back to the conference. So if you did miss anything or you lost your zennies, this is where you come back. So you have where you fought Night Man just right up there, and pretty much everything's all open. Just kind of the whole like regular thing. There is something we'll need to do back down here later, but we won't be doing that for a while. I'm just kind of showing this off. And also, you can't go through this door. The one that tried to come through and that door, you'll ne you're not getting through. They never open up whatsoever, so they're just there for 
that sake. I don't know why they even have that door there. It's like a little bit of a tease. Like, oh, you might be able to go through this eventually, but... Yeah. I mean, I don't know why they just didn't put a wall texture there, but... Eh, maybe it's just to invoke a little bit of mystery and make the... I guess make it seem like it's larger than it actually is since it's a castle. The bus stops at the airport. Wanna wait for the bus? Yes. Where will you go in the airport? To the departure lobby. You waited in the bus cave. How long are you gonna keep staring at people? Proto Man is already back at it and stronger than ever. Lan, will you accept the net battle with Chad? Yes. Bring it on. Should I pay for my test expenses? So yeah, we can already battle Proto Man version 2. And this was a slight mistake because I was not expecting my chips to be this bad. So we have a slight problem here. Either way, though, he's not going to be too evil. Okay, come on, jump. Oh, you picked a bad time to jump. I mean, good for you, but bad for me. Oh, come on. I got aqua and then a fire ship to go with that. Come on. Seriously, still nothing? For real? Come on, just give me a fire sword! Come on! <laughs> this is getting ridiculous, I just need one! Thank you! He's got too much HP! Luckily, he's still paralyzed, so if I can hit him fast enough... Okay. There we go. I don't think I got the Proto Man version 2, but... We get Proto Man B. Theoretically speaking, it's an unbelievable result. Now, the reason it's coded B is because, uh, Proto Man's Japanese name is Blues. So, that's why. That's why it's not P, and it's B instead, because, yeah. Hey, little man. Now's latest aircraft awaits. Hey, Lynn, that person's standing in front of the fleet board. Don't you think something fishy about that person? What, this guy? Murmur, murmur. Is it okay to put this on board? It's got a... it's got poison. What if it escapes midway through? But the flight is about to leave. Yeah, murmur. The flight board. And we can jack into it. Blah. Only VIPs can pass through this patch its way. Somehow or other, this is exciting. And yeah, we actually get by no problem. Hey, kiddo, show me your passport, won't you? Yes. Ikari, land. Okay, so where are you off to? Going to Electopia. Bingo, no mistake about it. Okay, have a nice trip. What do you say we go ahead and board? Yeah, my, my stomach hurts. Ouch. Ugh. Daddy, are you alrighty? The plane's leaving soon. Ouchie, hurry go bye-bye. Daddy, you, do you feel better? Daddy, does your tummy hurt? You okay? My father they said his stomach hurt, so I just called an ambulance. Okay, you don't want to talk, but we can also jack into here. Also, for some reason, it says tax-free on the board. I don't know why it's tax-free. Because you can't really... I mean... It, there are some things that are tax-free, but you can't really have something you're buying be tax-free. That's just not how that works. Sorry to say, but taxes are everywhere! Also, this is a poor field to be on when everything I'm dealing with is fire. Okay, this is probably gonna miss unless I, like, Get it immediately as it comes back in the frame, but come on. Got it! Heat VD. Is there anything else in here? Just want to make sure before we go. Dang it, why do you gotta come at me like this? Oh, and there's a shellman. I can get both of them ensnared in this. Ow.
There we go. Okay, yeah, there's nothing left. Just a lance. This is the boarding exit. See you again. Enjoy your flight. Thank you for flying now. A lot happened on my first trip overseas. It was pretty rough, but at least it was memorable. Bye for now, Natopia. I'm sad to leave, but I'm sure I'll be back Sunday. The plane will be landing in Electopia soon. I was only gone for a little while, really, but somehow it feels like it's been years. I wonder what everyone's been doing. I can't wait to see everyone again. Lan, we were waiting for you to get back. We all heard about your adventures in Utopia. What's wrong with you? Yeah, man, I thought you'd be the happiest to see Lan back. W welcome back, Lan. Hey, why did the glum look for mail? She's been worried sick about you, you big dummy. I was so worried, Lan. Hey, not so close. Dex and everyone's watching. Hey, woohoo. Look at the two lovebirds. I'm never letting you go away again, Lan. M mail. This is your captain speaking. Our flight is currently on schedule. We've crossed the international date line, which means we'll be arriving in Den City Airport at 7.45 a.m. today. I hope you enjoy the remainder of your flight. Oh, Mail Murph. I am your captain speak. Huh? Uh, wh huh? Where am I? In the airplane. Where else, sleepyhead? You were talking in your sleep, man. <laughs> mail. Oh, Mail. I can't wait to tell everyone. Hey, I didn't say anything, okay? So don't you dare. Just kidding. You awake yet? Yeah, I think what time? What time is it anyway? 11.30 a.m. It's almost time for lunch. Hey, Lan, let's ask if we can see the cockpit. I'm not so sure they'll just let us in like that. Sure they will. We just have to ask for them really nicely. Sure, why not? We could tell everyone later. Yeah, and here's where the thing doesn't make sense. Now, I know that sometimes, also, if you want to check this, it's a room for our crew members. You can't see through the curtains. Something is lying by the curtain. Get an HP memory. Let's see. Okay, we can't jack into that one, but there's some interesting characters here. Now, here's where the thing doesn't make sense. Also, there's another retro trip trainer. You can't tell by looking at it, but this is the newest TV on the market. It's designed so you can't jack in. The curtain's low, so you can't enter. First class curtains appear to be made from good materials. Yeah, we're in first class. Also, this is where it doesn't make sense. We're in the cockpit. Hello. A panel of instruments displaying the plane stairs. We ask the captain if we can see the cockpit when we're in the cockpit. Excuse me, but would it be possible to see the cockpit? Sure thing, kid. Wow, this is so cool. What an awesome view you guys have. I'm just imagining in my head because Lance 11, just like he has his eyes closed or covering his eyes. I'm doing that motion right now when you guys can't even see my face. But just like walks in the cockpit, like one hand stretched out, just like trying to make sure he doesn't run anything. Just like, hey, can I see the cockpit? Instead of just, you know, looking where he's going. Wow, that's so cool. What an awesome view you guys have. Pretty cool, eh? I saw a cockpit once when I was a kid, and that's what made me choose to become a pilot. Wow, it's like your dream came true. Uh-oh, looks like we've hit an air pocket. You better go sit down. Yes, sir. Thanks for letting me up here. Come on, Lam, let's get back to the seat. Your attention, please. We apologize for the bumpy ride, but it looks like we're through the worst of it. The captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. It looks like the turbulence is over. It's almost time for lunch. Want to walk around first? Yeah, sure. Also, this uh, panel back here, a TV with a jack, with a jack, but it's old. We can jack into this TV. The other two you cannot, though. So pretty much the common status is just go talk to everyone. And we have another bug frag. I saw some chips. Want to see my wares? Oh, I was expecting you to have some other stuff. Oh well. Uh, do keep in mind though, and if you want more money for your sub chips and stuff that you're buying, is uh, keep track of all the sub chip traders, or you could just look this up online, like I sometimes do. Is see what sub chip dealers deal, where they, how much they're charging for certain things, because some of them are actually cheaper than others. I mean, some items just go for a straight price between most of them, like uh, the lock enemy sub chip, which lets you encounter like the same virus over and over again for us for a certain period of time, but, you know, it can be useful. Oh, we have Sparkler 2s, which is actually going to be useful because I can get their battle chips, which will give me an advantage finally with the range department. Also should have equipped that bubbler first. Alright, 
Okay, that takes care of that. Ooh, we got a satellite 2R, which is exactly what I wanted to get, because I want to get more of those. So then I can upgrade basically what I have. So pretty much all we have to do is go ahead and talk with everyone. The curtains are closed, no admittance. And back here is just kind of the back of the plane. The crew room, no one except the crew can enter. And the restroom. It's a laboratory, but don't really need to use it right now. So yeah, there's still quite a bit to do on the plane, and we gotta go ahead and talk to everyone that's on it before we can actually continue with the story and get on with it. But for now, I'm gonna be ending it right off here, so I will be seeing you guys in the next episode when we, you know, get on with the story. So until then, I will see you guys later.